<laughs> with feedback, make it constructive. Yeah, exactly. Which I'm glad you brought that up, actually, mm. because if you're taking on a new developer on your team, mm. what do you really look for? What are the key uh, characteristics, apart from, obviously, skill set, that mm. you, you really look for when you're taking somebody on? Yeah, so for, for me, I tend to look for, and this is different for everyone, every team, every organization. But more uh, generally. Yeah, but more generally, I, tr I try to look for generalists, <laughs> actually. Okay. So yeah. I prefer to work with people or have people on the team that are naturally cur curious mm -hmm. about technology, but that also have a pragmatic understanding of how, why we're here, right? Because mm -hmm. I've seen devs that go too far in either direction, they're either 100% pragmatic and in terms of, okay, this is the quickest way to get something done, mm -hmm. we should just do it. Um, probably from the agency world. Yeah, exactly. Just get it done, get it done forget yeah. about tech debt, <laughs> forget about um, you know what's gonna happen down the line. Because sometimes in, in a startup, you may only have six months or one year runway. So mm -hmm. in that case, it's valid because there's no point building a system that you're expecting to last 10 years when the business may not be around in two years. So it's gotta be fit for purpose. But at the same time, on the other end of the spectrum, if you have someone that's too curious, who always wants to you know, build something in flavor of the month, the then you have, things. exactly, then you have all these different pieces of technology that then becomes impossible to onboard someone mm. for, because whenever you gotta hire someone, you gotta hire someone to not just know one programming language, they got to learn five, and not just know one framework, but they got to learn ten. It just becomes a, yeah. a real challenge. So the curiosity, the adaptability, yep. but not just wanting everything, all the yep. newest. Yeah. Um, so uh, it's it's really finding the right sort of position on that spectrum um, that I think is important for an organization to know. Because, mm -hmm. for example, if you're in a research and development department, then I would say, yes, definitely allow for more curiosity, yeah. allow for more creativity in your candidates. But if you're in a sort of startup environment where your runway is really short, then definitely just hire people and select for people that just want to get things done so you can really prove that you actually have a business before you think about you know, how long your technology mm. is going to last. So that's really interesting about mm. the curiosity and also